Happy International Girls in ICT Day. My name is Sharon Yungueso, and I work with DOT to build digital communities of youth who are daring social innovators. This year, DOT is celebrating Girls in ICT Day by featuring the incredible work of young people who are tackling the gender digital divide in their communities and their countries. We will be facilitating conversations between young people who are social innovators focused on girls in ICT and influencers, supporters, and advocates for, from the private sector. I have the honor today of facilitating a discussion between DOT youth and social innovation from Tanzania, Kijoli Mjombo, and Serena Ngai, a UX lead at Shopify, building products that help entrepreneurs grow their business. Shopify is known globally as an e-commerce company that works to make commerce better for everyone. And here at DOT, we're working to bridge the digital divide to ensure young women have the same opportunities to access digital solutions and the global digital economy. So Serena, I'll go ahead and hand over the floor to you to kick off the conversation. Sure, so maybe Kajoli, can you talk a bit more about what you're doing in Tanzania? Well, I'm a digital champion from DOT. I facilitate digital literacy. For now, I, were, I facilitate it at a center called Yemco, where I facilitate different women on how to use the opportunities in technology to empower themselves. Very cool. And what does it mean for you to be a digital champion for young women in Tanzania? Well, being a digital champion in Tanzania is exciting, but being a female digital champion is much exciting. For me, being a, among, a, among very few women in technology makes me proud. And uh, like, I'd love to hear, like, what is it, like, what's been your journey to technology? Like, what's inspired you to get into STEM? personally? Well, at first, ICT was never my first priority. In ICT, the journey was somehow very rough. People used to tell me that ICT is very hard for, 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 for women, but that didn't pull me back. I wish to move forward. So I stick to it. I, I, I studied I studied ACT, I took ACT as, as a course and I studied, but in my class, it was somehow hard. There were not only nine, nine, nine female and 40 male, which is very hard, which was very hard to compete, but I pushed it forward. I wanted to compete with them. Is there any that inspired you to get into ICT? Like you mentioned that there was like so few females. Did you know someone like uh, personally that was already in ICT that inspired you? No, by then I didn't know anyone who was in ICT, but I wanted to stick in technology. So that pushed me into technology. Very cool. Uh, can you share an example of an impact that you've had in your community as a digital champion? Well, I've taught different women and some of them have adapt technology. They have started different businesses where they use technology to market the, their products. Like there's this one girl called Asha has now started making batik fabrics where she sells them online and that's make me feel proud. Uh, so this Girls in ICT Day, what advice do you have for young women who want to get into the industry as well? I, ad I advise them not to, be, not to fear to get in technology. There's nothing hard about it. And they should get in technology and then pay back to the community like I do. I have this project that I want to start where I'll be I'll be teaching ACT skills, basic ACT skills to, prim to primary schools with low resources. So I advise them not to, not to fear ACT. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. It's been great to like chat with you and learn more about what you're doing in Tanzania. I think you're doing really great things there. Yeah, thank you, Serena. Thank you both so much. And thank you all for joining us on International Girls in ICT Day to celebrate the strides that youth in our network are making to bridge the gender digital divide in their communities. The conversation
conversation doesn't end here. If you have any questions for Kijoli, please add them to the comments and we can continue this discussion. Thank you so much and happy girls and happy International Girls and ICT Day. <laughs>